And another way to make summer special is to cook up some good food, maybe invite everybody over for a party. Yes, but yeah. you don't have to stick to the same old recipes because Alex has more. Summertime and backyard parties go hand in hand, but you can't make it happen without the right products. So here to tell us more is professional chef and lifestyle expert Maureen Petrowski. Good morning, Maureen. Good morning, Alex. So tell us, how do we set the tone for the perfect summer party? Well, I like to spend as much time as possible at my party, so I like to put together what I call my basket of must-haves. This keeps me from running in and out of the house for any last-minute requests. In my basket, I have a first aid kit, I have sunglasses, I have visors, and most importantly, mosquito repellent. I like to keep my guests comfortable, so I also use the off-mosquito lamps, which I can put on my tables, and they cover a 10 by 10 foot area. Once you activate them, they last for six hours, so we'll create a good pest-free ambiance so we can focus on all the good food and drinks to come. Smart. If they're comfortable, they're going to have a great time now. What do we do to sort of amp up our menu this summer? It's so simple to dress up even your favorite standby salads and dishes with just a little bit of dressing or sauces. If, for example, potato salad or pasta salad, you can add some mayonnaise to that for flavor, but also that gets in those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, mayonnaise has the healthy fatty fats from the oiled canola and soybean. So if some people don't think about that, again, when it gets to another salad, green salads. Use what's in the market right now. Everything is in season. So go for nice bright greens, crisp carrots, tomatoes, but don't forget the dressing. Again, dressing also brings healthy fats to the table and that helps you to absorb nutrients like vitamin C and E and folates. Now, it's not just healthy, it can also be delicious. And for me, dressing does triple duty. So I use it on my salads, but I also use it to serve as a dip for a tray of veggies. I've got some sliced squ summer squash here and some fresh peppers and carrots and simply just fill up a bowl and there you got your dip. Then I also take it to the grill with, as a marinade. So I brush on dressings onto chicken, veggies, even onto my burgers for some extra flavor. Very nice. Looks delicious now. It's hot outside. We sort of want to wash all this food down. What are the best drinks that we can serve our guests? So it is summer, and summer is spritzer season. And Barefoot Refresh has five new flavors of spritzers out. These are great served chilled on a hot summer day. They're refreshing, they're vibrant, they're effervescent. They're even better served over ice. They were made for summer cookouts and relaxing by the pool. They also go great with all that good food that's coming off the grill. I like to make my burgers a little bit smaller. So, you know, and I load them up with some veggies too. So here I've got a California slider, goes great with a nice spritzer. It's got guacamole, crisp cucumber, crisp red onion slice there, a nice car uh, tomato on top. Just serving it this way adds a little extra wow. I use Laura's lean beef. It's 92%, so I still get a nice juicy burger. It's less than nine grams of fat per serving, and you can feel good about serving these because they are humanely raised, no growth hormones, no antibiotics. Now, Alex, I don't know if you're a burger guy or a hot dog guy, but either way, I have you covered today. We also have the 100% grass-fed hot dogs, which are delicious. That looks awesome. All right, you've got burgers and hot dogs, you've got wine. Now, if that's not enough to impress people, what's another way that you can sort of kick it up another notch? Well, there's so many recipes out there. You want to do, like I said, things that make you comfortable and things that you're not going to be working too hard for. So my go-to is always the Dressings and Sauces um, Association. So it's the Association for Dressings and Sauces. You can go to dressings-sauces.org, and there's tons of recipes there, nutritional information, too. Also, something I just like to remind everyone, when you're hosting and you're entertaining, your guests came to see you. So Take a beat, take a minute, sit down, have a drink with your guests, spend some time with your friends and family. That will go a lot further to being a great host or hostess than any of this other work you put out there. That's a great reminder, Maureen. Taking it back to the basics, thank you so much for being on with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, and stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.